गुड इवनिंग सर दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ दिस फाइल एज वेल एज दिस स्क्रिप्ट और जे एस फर्स्ट आई लाइक टू शो यू हाउ दिस इज वर्किंग विजिटिंग द ब्राउजर सो दिस इज अ बेसिक एच टी एम एल पेज आई डिडेंट यूज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ सी एस एस और कॉम्प्लेक्स एच टी एम एल और अदर जाओ स्क्रिप्ट थिंग्स टू मेक इट लुक मोर ब्यूटिफुल आई जस्ट फोकस्ड ऑन दिस बैक एंड सेक्शन दैट हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज टेंसर फ्लो टू जस्ट रिकोगनाइज माई फेस लेट्स लुक एट द कोड दीज आर द बेसिक वायलट प्लेट ऑफ एच टी एम एल विच आई थिंक इज नॉट सो इम्पोर्टेंट एज ऑफ नाउ हेयर आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न अ फेस रिकोगशन इन एच वन टैग I I have uh, uh, just used video element. I have given this ID as video. I have set it to auto play as soon as the page is going to load. I want my video to be rendered there. Uh, this part of section I would like to explain it enough after after some time. And this canvas is actually used to draw a rectangle. It is used to draw a whole uh, image uh, in which there is a rectangle. and uh, how i will set my previous video to invisible means my previous video will become invisible and my new video that is the canvas one which is uh, technically an image but how i am going to show you that it's uh, a video the user will uh, feel like video because there is a set interval and uh, which uh, make this canvas to project 10 images per second which makes it a video so for that purpose there is written and this these two script tags are the just to how to use ten means uh, there to facilitate tensor flow models uh, to get embedded in this uh, files html as well as javascript file this this uh, this script tag is for the this script dot js file here i have uh, make a variable video uh, to, to to the video element uh, which is here and we have uh, make up another variable called model uh, how we are going to use model to detect our face let us see we have also make uh, other two variables like as like canvas canvas is uh, used to you know draw something rectangle or something like that here i have used ctx that's another variable that's that's only a name the point is that i have used here 2d because uh, this tensor flow model is blaze face and the blaze face is going to detect multiple faces if there is multiple faces in your video it is going to detect multiple faces and for that it will return an a whole bunch of uh, the coordinates of the in an in an array of each faces the coordinates of each faces will be returned in an array that's why we have to use and uh, a 2d type of canvas where i will we will be Uh, projecting multiple rectangles if there are multiple faces now the next thing is that we are going to use webcam that's why we have written a function setup camera and in this setup camera we have uh, this particular get user media is a very fantastic api which is used to fetch all the media related files in our computer media related services that basically like microphone webcam these all types of thing here it requires an object in object we will put our video uh, that i want our video uh, at a width of 600 as pixel and height at 400 pixel and we are not going to deal with audio and what it will do is that it will it will then make another stream it will return a stream which is a media stream object and at last we are going to just put the source of that video because we didn't put any source in this video it requires anything at least something it, it requires otherwise there is no sense uh, just making an element video element so the source would be stream so in this way the webcam is going to work um, after that the, the function is there and we are just uh, calling the function here so this function is called the webcam has been open after that we want our model to be get loaded and after that when our model is loaded we want detect faces function which is there which is there which is going to be called on that particular video pad 
on that particular video on that particular video so this detect faces function will be called on that video here and we are calling it uh, by passing a parameter by using a set interval method and uh, here we have passed 100 millisecond it means that we are going to get uh, 10 images uh, it is going to be 10 times per second this function is going to be called 10 times per second that's why our all means we are going to see 10 images per second that's uh, something like a video that's why it will make another set another video which is uh, different from the previous one that's why we have uh, uh, make uh, the previous video invisible here because we have another video which is which includes the uh, brood color rectangle and uh, the face recognized video okay so here we have used event listener because we want our model to be fully loaded before going on to detect faces function otherwise it will give you an error that if the model is not loaded and is still calling detect faces which means here we are calling model that's why we have to fully loaded at least this model that's why we have used add event listener to load all the bunch of data then and then move further to detect faces any detect faces function this is an asynchronous function because of this particular we are going to use uh, await here to get this thing done then we are going and uh, we just have to put here a synchronous function we have to initialize it there and then we are going to uh, draw an image a whole image of 600 pixel versus 400 pixel starting from coordinate 0 comma 0 and it will draw from a video at that point okay so the image has been drawn and after that for each image because there may be multiple faces so for each face we are going to draw the rectangle so we have the, uh, the whatever uh, prediction was there done by the model and in prediction may be may contain lots of elements so for each element we are just assuming it uh, to another variable like pred so we are going to canvas to just start drawing okay we will be having the width of the rectangle as 4 we are going to set this color as blue while drawing rectangle we are going to have the coordinate of the top left section okay here are the f these are the four actually parameters okay these two are the length and width and these two and these two are the starting uh, coordinate we just want here coordinate okay so this is this has been written by this model and we are just using bread dot top left these all are the names which are included in that model that's why we have to use in, use it in this manner and here by subtracting the difference we will get the distance length and breadth respectively and here we will get the coordinate so in this way by the prediction that was made by the model we are drawing uh, the rectangle using canvas here okay after that we are going to just draw this here and after it is drawn and you can see the result that it is particularly showing it correctly i think i didn't have uh, use uh, other complexities of this model like uh, directly detecting landmarks like your eyes and nose or even mouth and i didn't have also shown the accuracy because it was not required if it was required then you should have I, because it was not mentioned there i didn't uh, use those all set of things it's a, so it's a very simple face recognition model most the simplest one i think so that was all i think and uh, I hope it would be good for you, it was good. Okay then, thank you.